we're making chips over here at Titan's CNC. We have the machines on the floor, we have electrical and air going up, and now we have coolant. So as you guys know, we've been using Blazer Synergy 735 right now. We're really happy with that coolant. It serves all of our needs from aluminum, all the way to Inconel, and everything in between. So one thing you want to remember with the Synergy 735 is you need a good DI or RO system. What that does, it pulls the minerals out of the water and it makes sure that it's nice and clean so the Synergy 735 runs top notch. One thing to note is the DI water is not only good for coolant, it's also applicable in various other applications within the industry. In fact, before we used Synergy 735, we actually used the DI water system to clean our parts for the aerospace industry. Many of these industries, as they continue to advance, and go forward are increasing their requirements. So if you're a shop and you're running at a high level, chances are you're gonna have a DI water system in place already. So to get the system up and running, right, we went ahead, we dropped the tank in place, we put the mixer in, we connect it to the DI system, connected our hose, and now we're gonna fill up our machines. We're gonna start with the robo drill, we're gonna go down, we're gonna fill up the horizontal, and then we're gonna fill up the SMX. So as you can see, we have a dial on the mixer here, but we wanna make sure that we get the concentration correct in our machines. Now this can be determined by whether we're running aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, or various other materials. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my refractometer, I'm gonna make sure that during the fill process, I occasionally check that and make sure that it's filling up the machine at the appropriate concentration. For the day-to-day -day maintenance, this isn't how we would fill our machines, but this allows us a quick and efficient way to get the machines up and running. quite a few steps to get a machine shop up and running and getting the blazer and our tanks is pretty much the last one. We're going to go ahead, we're going to tool up and we're going to start making some chips.